Hello and welcome to Yonkers uh, Roundup. I'm your host, Brian Herod, and today my guest is Terrence Miller. How are you doing, Terrence? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing well. I, um, you're running for the first district, which happens to be my district, that I live here in Yonkers, as a city council person. Absolutely, yes. And um, the uh, incumbent, I believe, um, she uh, did not get the Democratic endorsement. You got the Democratic endorsement. Yes, I did. From yeah. the, um, the district I guess, leaders. The district leaders in our district area. Yes. And um, the day we're going to talk about, if you don't mind, um, affordable housing. Okay, sounds good. And um, one of the reasons is I, I benefit from affordable housing. <laughs> that thing, so it's a, it's a uh, prime interest to me. And um, when I first came here, the uh, the set aside I think for new projects was at two percent. And uh, I believe with um, the former council person, um, they were able to get that raised to ten percent. And um, I believe you were possibly even seeking to have it slightly higher. Yes, so I want to see that at 30%. Oh, 30%. Yes, absolutely, yes. because uh, right now, 10%, I'm glad we were able to get that when mm -hmm. we were able to, but uh, I feel like if we do uh, 30%, more people from the community will be able to stay here. Mm -hmm. So we have all this beautiful development that you see in the background, but uh, not a lot of people from the community can really afford it. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you know, uh, when they see that, when developers see that, uh, you know, this new development here, uh, other landlords in the neighborhood, they'll raise their rent so that more people uh, from outside of Yonkers can come in who can afford it. Mm -hmm. So that's pushing people out who are already here. And I, w I would hate to see that. I want people who are long-time residents who have built upon this community, I want them to be able to stay here, mm -hmm. uh, like me. You know, I was I, born and raised, but I, I don't want to have to move to the Bronx or exactly, something. Exactly. <laughs> like myself, I was born and raised in this city. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been living here my whole life. And like a lot of people from this community, uh, you know, they shouldn't have to leave because they can't afford the rent. So we need to do our job at the city level to make sure that uh, there's more, there's, there's enough low-income and affordable housing for people to stay here. I understand. And I, I do want to think... Um, I'm not sure if it's in effect yet, but I, I believe they passed a law or they're about to pass a law where there's going to be a registry of all the affordable units. And then you could see a unit that would be that you would be interested in, and then it would be where you would apply for the unit, or if it was open to apply for it. Yeah, so um, I understand that uh, Council Member Corazon Panita Isaac, mm -hmm. uh, she has a uh, slumlord registry so that uh, people can see, you know, who are the bad uh, landlords in the community. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, there may be a, a, another a second, a, registry. A second registry where people can go on there and see, uh, you know, what housing is available for them, uh, you know, what low-income and affordable housing people are, are looking for, mm -hmm. and can apply apply through that registry. So that's something that I would be supporting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when I do get to, to the council, because I'm confident that my team is going to help me win. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I do get there, I would love to help council member uh, Pineda Isaac. Make that come a reality. Make that come a reality, exactly. Yes, I see. And uh, I guess there's, how would I say this? Um, there, there's a couple of types of um, affordable housing. There, I was, it's a bad, I don't know if there's a proper term, but low income. Right. Maybe somebody's on a disability, maybe I've retired, I'm on a limited and income. A lot of people who are like on a fixed income, yeah, a lot of our seniors, uh, mm -hmm. people who are uh, disabled, a lot of them. And then there's a, a workforce housing, which I believe this 20 or 30 percent would be, you know, I, I live, I work in Yonkers, but right. I can't afford um, 4,000 bucks for an apartment. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. That's, <laughs> so you have that's those like two, a mortgage. Two, 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 two sides of it, but I, I have seen where there's been some... Um, a renovating of the uh, lower income housing, if that's the proper term, mm -hmm. and then uh, would you push for more of that, or what would you would see envision there? So right now in my district, mm -hmm. uh, there's Cottage Place Gardens and uh, Slow Bombs Houses. Yes. So Cottage Place, uh, half of that uh, is has been renovated right now. Um, mm -hmm. And Slow Bombs, the, they're changing the name to Palisade Towers, and mm -hmm. that's going to be renovated. So uh, those are some good things that uh, the city is doing right now. But absolutely, we do need more low-income and affordable housing. Mm -hmm. uh, we shouldn't stop there. We should make sure that, uh, you know, in these new developments that we have, that there's low-income and affordable housing. So, uh, yeah, so the difference is that, like, like you stated, you know, affordable housing, uh, more people who are working but still can, uh, you know, afford a lot of the mm -hmm. developments that's going on. But uh, it's important that we have the housing for them, like I stated earlier, to make sure that they can stay in their neighborhood because that is so important. We shouldn't just be pushing people out people should be allowed to live in this great city of Yonkers. So I take it this would probably, the affordable housing would be one of the, uh, well, I was with Mr. Um, Johnson previously, mm -hmm. and I, I assume it's uh, important to Sinead also, but uh, this would be a high priority with you. Absolutely, because yes. this is the work that I've been doing with Community Voices Her. Like, mm -hmm. We've been in the neighborhood, knocking on doors, talking to people, really getting a better understanding of what housing means to them and how, you know, that organization can help, 
but more so how I can help as uh, when I get to the council. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really one of my top priorities. And uh, I want to see you know more of it because that's what the community is saying, and I believe that's what we need as well. I see. Well, that's about all the questions I can think of on affordable housing, but we like to give people an opportunity to speak directly to the um, uh, to our audience. And if there's anything that I should have mentioned about affordable housing or something you have coming up or want to mention your website or yeah. something you just want to talk, talk to our, our um, viewers, please, it's all yours. Absolutely. Sir. So uh, if you want any more information on my campaign, uh, you can go to www.terence, T-E-R-E-N-C-E, for yonkers.com uh, you'll see more about affordable housing on my website and uh, any other issues that uh, you'd be interested in so please check out my website and uh, if you have any other questions you can email us at terrence for yonkers at gmail.com and do you have any fundraisers coming up this is the last week I understand so uh, are you finished with them or they're still raising funds we to do, make this happen or? we do have another fundraiser oh, we do. yes yeah. this Tuesday is going to be at uh, Manor Bagel at 6 30 p.m. Uh, please come out and support. Uh, I would love to see you know everybody from the community there. It'll be our last push to get me across this finish line. So I hope you'll be able to come out and support me. Well, I appreciate you being on the show, Terrence. Thank you. And you've been watching uh, Yonkers Roundup. I'm your host, Brian Harrod. Today my guest has been Terrence Miller, who is a hopeful for the first district uh, city council seat in the city of Yonkers. Thank you for watching Yonkers Roundup.